Hello, this is Joyful Spirit with another Orcs Must Die 2 video. In this one, I'm gonna test a really cool strategy. I just wanna screw around with some new stuff that I just picked up for my skulls. This is the map Crossfire and it's gonna be perfect for my new idea that I wanna see. So first of all, I got rid of my old weapons, I got a blade staff. Look at this dance, this is so cool. And since I've got a blade, da blade staff, I also really could use a defense trinket. Because blade staff is a melee weapon and I need to get up close, so I might as well have enough HP to get up close. Also, the idea is to get three swinging maces on the ceiling. It doesn't work on every map. It works on this map, because it, this map has only two entrances. One entrance, second entrance, they are mirrored lanes. And on each one, I'm gonna place three swinging maces and paladins underneath them to hold the enemies in place and uh, ice vents everywhere on the floor underneath the swinging maces. The idea is that the swinging mace deals more damage the longer enemies stay underneath it. It is a very unique trap in that regard because the other traps, they, uh, they are like one shot and then a long cooldown. So it doesn't usually pay off as much to hold enemies underneath other traps like the Ace Sprinklers. But these maces, they don't have any cooldown, they just swing. And the longer enemies stay underneath, the more damage they take. I don't know how this is gonna work because this is the first time I'm testing this strategy but I'm gonna be really excited about this. It's, it's a really cool idea and I'm sure it's gonna work beautifully. So without further ado, let's, let's get the traps set up. And I'm gonna see you at the round wave 20 because that's where things will start getting interesting. So I'm gonna begin by putting the acid sprinklers just because they are very, very reliable traps and very cheap to get. And then one paladin just to hold enemies in place for the order. Of course, everything is fully upgraded because otherwise I wouldn't have used it. And uh, I'll, I'm gonna unleash the wave and see you at the wave around 20. So here we are on the wave 22. Looks like I've got myself a bunch of paladins. There's uh, seven of them here with a wave of brimstone that catches goblin sappers. Because sappers would really devastate my paladins, so I need brimstones in front. Then there are aces sprinklers on the wall, because what else would you put there? And three maces swinging from the ceiling. Look how beautiful they are. And watching them kill orcs is so fun. I, am, I, I love it that I can test a new strategy and it's gonna work, at least on this map. It's a pretty easy map. And then there are some more paladins and the same setup on the other side. Looks like blade staff is also doing a really, really good job, but I did die once, so that's how I'm missing three rift points. Let's unleash the horde the and see how this composition is working out. The paladins do die. And I'm hoping they're gonna stop dying, but it's, it sounds, sounds impossible to do. So I'm just gonna run my scavenger trinket and jump right in with the blade stuff. It's important to stay on the ice vents because that's where my main DPS is. I'm actually one of the paladins. I'm actually a tank here. That, that's my role in the team pretty much. I do have this shield trinket which makes me immune to damage for like a 5 to 10 seconds. It's really good against augers and sappers. Without, without my defense trinket, I would not have survived as long as I did. I would just uh, keep dying with, with that blade staff, because it is a melee weapon, so it's... I, I have to get close to the ogres and the like. Yeah, can you hear how the paladins are falling? I hope this somehow I'm gonna survive waves past 30 where paladins st stop respawning. But I don't know, I don't know how to do that. It, it's a test, and I'm not sure if paladins are viable ways of, of keeping monsters in place. Maybe maybe paladins are just not viable, maybe in this game there are too many things that counter them. Like gnolls, sappers, ouch. Okay, I wanna place the second wave of brimstones, the smell of brimstone in the morning. and jump on this side. Collect the coin, because I do feel safe, so I can just run around collect coins. See, my paladins have stunning attacks, which is even better for holding monsters in place. Yeah, Cyclops made his own, own, own paladins pretty well. At 
this rate, they'll run out of orbs. The paladins fall. Yeah, I'm running out of paladins. Down you go. These guys not, don't seem very intelligent. Some of them stay behind, some of them run in front of the traps and die without any DPS. So I'm not as happy with my Paladins as I could have been. They are not doing their job to the fullest. They are the weak link in this composition. But then, nothing ever leaked. I don't think I ever even used this, these Brimstones. So the strategy is working out so far. It begins. Yep. Putting some fire right underneath him. Come on, step right here, Mr. Orc. Line up for me. Well, one sapper went through. Yeah, no matter how many waves of brimstones I put in, if sappers spawn mid wave, then the brimstones are gonna be exhausted. See the paladins are running in front. That's bad. That's really bad. But if I but if I put them in the back, then they're not gonna fight. So it's pretty hard to control them and make them fight in the, in the in the place. I could use kind of a, a hold position uh, command, but the game doesn't have it. So the paladins just keep falling one by one. That's not the effect I expected. I never, to be honest, I never ever before used more than two paladins in the same place. It's the first time I mass paladins. Back time, children. Time to dance. Time to dance some more. I think this is the last break and the last paladin respawn I got. So things are gonna start going downhill from here because the paladins really are pretty stupid. And they keep dying. I don't want them to keep dying, but they do. At least the ice vents are doing a really, really good job. Of holding the monsters in place. So many traps. So maybe if I just make sure to always disarm the sappers with my shield trinket, the paladins will be fine. So and by the way, don't try to jump across without beating the campaign on the war mage level. Because after you beat the campaign on the war mage level, you get this floating ability or double jump in case of a war mage. So that's, that's, I think, the only way you can jump across with that additional ability you gain from winning the campaign. So I've got some extra cash. I'm gonna sink it into Paladins until I reach the Guardian level, which is pretty hard to reach with Paladins because they are so expensive. I usually reach the Guardian level limit with uh, Archers that cost 500, not, not 1200. But I, I'm a StarCraft player. If I have a limit, I max out on it. I use all the potential possible. Yeah, let's knock them in. <laughs> yeah, the Blade Staff has a really cool right-click attack that uses a little bit of mana and deals AoE damage and with a pushback. It's really good against Earth Lords, I noticed, because the Earth Lords keep splitting up as, as I spam this attack, so I can... With, with one distar discharge of, of my full mana, I can bring Earthlord down to the Earthlings. Which is probably not gonna be the case in, in 10 waves from now because they keep gaining health. I do expect to still get 5 skulls for this strategy even though my Paladins aren't very smart. Come on Ogre, get freezed. Discharging my mana. I was hoping that if I get enough Paladins then they're gonna permanently stun those big enemies because Paladin attacks have a percentage of chance to stun with, with my upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna use my Rift Defender to stun them even more because my Paladins keep falling. Come on, stop fighting in front of the damn swingers. So bad. Fall back. Your bravery is absolutely useless here, come on. Don't find a freaking swamp troll, this is ridiculous. Yeah, they're all gonna die. Oh my god, I didn't watch my HP. Yeah, that's what I get for trying to save paladins, I guess. 
Yeah, here they can fight the mountain troll because the swingers are the damage dealers in this composition, not the brimstones. Seriously, that was just bad play of my paladins. And they almost all died. Don't have too many of them left and I don't think they will respawn. So I'm not sure if I should sink my money into paladins right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Something from my collection. No, that was bad place. I'm gonna sink my money on the sprinklers now. They seem more permanent. Alright, they're falling in because these swinging maces all also push, also knock enemies off into the pit. So it's working out pretty nice. It's too bad that there aren't too many maps on which this strategy can be done because well, first of all this is a very very expensive strategy. So if you have four entrances to cover, you can't afford to make this on all of your entrances until the very late game. So uh, this is this is a very special map in, in terms of it has two entrances, so I can invest in expensive traps on them. Is there any limit to my genius? You're just dancing around the brimstones, wasting all of them. Alright. So yeah, somehow Earth Lords don't feel scary anymore when I have this blade stuff. Other things seem more scary like... Like Cyclops Mages, Augurs, Mountain Trolls. Well, that's Still, I don't think I ever used a Brimstone of my, of my back... Back line. Into my sprinklers, little so my orcs. ice vents and swinging maces are working really well, even if paladins are keep falling. The re the rest of the machine is is functional. Yeah, the paladins aren't Take gonna respawn. Like so basically, if they can't be used past wave t wave 30, I might as well have never bought them in the first place. So I'm not really sure at this point what could I use as a for, for delaying enemies and keeping enemies in place because I tested dummies, maybe you watched my video when I was testing dummies and dummies totally don't work, they suck. They die really quickly and they are like one use and then they, they're gone. Maybe I should upgrade the dummies with uh, no, no freeze and uh, no nothing and just respawning. There's this, there's this a unique upgrade where dummies can respawn after death, but they don't explode and they don't freeze enemies, so they're pretty useless but uh, permanent. Maybe, th maybe that's whoa! What the hell? Totally didn't see that coming. Whoa! So maybe I should shut up and keep playing because all my paladins are dead. Oh my god, they didn't work. They totally didn't work. Wave 30 and they're already gone. Already gone. The sweet burn of acid. How I love Let's it. at least have one paladin, seriously. I hope they would do more when there will be more of them, but when there are more of them, it seems like half of them goes goes to fight and half of them hangs behind so they don't fight together and then they die. Really bad. Really bad on, on my paladin's oh, part. I don't like it one bit when they do that. Okay, double mountain trolls. Goodbye, all my paladins. Still, I am gonna get things done. Because I have my shield. I can tank him. I can take damage to the face. Even though I'm a small girl. Because I got my shield. I'm gonna discharge all my mana. And this mountain troll is boned. Yes, he is. And then I am boned, because I leaked 